everyone, welcome back. Today I have a couple more unboxings to share with you. I have my Beauty Box 5 as well as my BoxyCharm for the month of March. So let's get into it. I'm really excited because I saw on BoxyCharm's Instagram that they're actually featuring Makeup Geek this month, which is very, very exciting. Um, I believe we're supposed to get two eyeshadows from Makeup Geek, um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing which ones I got. Um, I actually own a few Makeup Geek eyeshadows already and I've been meaning to buy a few more, so this is neat that I get to add two more to the collection hopefully I don't have these colors already um, the month the month the theme for this month is sweet treats sugar is sweet but this box is sweeter um, and this month they actually didn't list the products on the card like they normally do because this month they actually I feel like I'm saying this month this month this month so I apologize for that but they're actually not sending out the same exact box to everyone they were there were like a handful of different products that you could have gotten this month so every Everybody's box was a little bit different so let's get into my box the first thing I'm gonna talk about are the makeup geek eyeshadows like I said so we got two of them this month which is really cool we're supposed to get one matte eyeshadow and then one shimmer or one duochrome and the ones I have are cosmopolitan and shimmer shimmer which I believe these are both shimmer eyeshadows so I didn't get a matte eyeshadow like I was supposed to get which is kind of a bummer because I do like my eyeshadows but that's okay I love makeup geek eyeshadows so I'm excited and I don't actually have either of these colors yet so very very cool so these are just like little refill pans that you can put into like an empty palette like a Z palette or something like that um, and like I said the colors I got are shimmer shimmer which is this one um, and this one is just a nice kind of like shimmery like pearly highlighter color and let's give it a swatch again very pigmented uh, makeup geek eyeshadows are really pigmented i think they're a really great value because they're only six dollars so that is shimma shimma which is really pretty so you can probably use this as a highlighter like on your face too if you wanted to and then the next color like i said i have is cosmopolitan and this one's a really pretty color it's kind of like a a coppery um, kind of peachy like bronzy type color it's really pretty and really nice very pigmented these shimmer shadows almost kind of look like a foil because they're so like you see how shimmery they are they're really pretty but they're not like glittery which is nice so there's shimmer shimmer and there is cosmopolitan so already this box is off to a really good start. I'm really happy that they featured Makeup Geek and I hope that they continue to feature Makeup Geek in the future. Um, these shadows retail for $6 a piece, so that's really cool. The next thing I have in here, I actually already own this. Um, this is from Chella and this is their eyebrow pencil, um, the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Color. And I actually have this exact same color. I got it in an Ipsy bag, I believe. Um, I'm actually using it right now. I don't prefer pencils for my brows. I do prefer like a powder or like a gel or a cream But pencils are nice for like on the go and this one's really nice because you can see it's really really skinny So um, you can even get like a really precise point. I like this for like really stubborn areas on my brows because um, Sometimes the powder doesn't want to grab on if there's no like hairs to grab on to or like a cream product Doesn't really like like to stay put but a pencil I can just like draw in those like really stubborn areas um, the next thing I have in here is from Luxie and it is another makeup brush. I'm starting like my own like Luxie collection now. I think this might be my third or fourth Luxie brush. Um, but this is the Luxie 512 Small Contour Brush. And I have a couple, like I said, and I do actually really like them. The, the blending brush I have been using um, for the past few months, and I do really like it. They're very soft, synthetic bristles, and I just think they're cute. I'm not even a huge like pink fan, but I think this is really cute with the rose gold ferrule. Um, so this is their contour brush, and it's a nice size i think it fits right there in the contour so i'm excited to give that a try again that is a full size brush and that eyebrow pencil was full size as well and i'll try to like put the the prices down like in the bottom as i show you the product because i don't know off the top of my head because like i said the card doesn't list the products or the prices um the next thing i have in here is from clark's botanical and this is their anti-puff eye cream and this is a huge package um this is 0.5 full ounces so your average like eye cream size which i think is kind of ridiculous because this is huge this is a huge package for something so small of an amount if that makes any sense so i feel like this could definitely have been like 
downsized a little bit um, but I know that this is actually really pricey this is $85 and this is full size which is kind of crazy um, but I've heard really good things about it so I am excited to try it I have so many eye creams I never have to buy an eye cream I don't think as long as I'm subscribed to these like subscription boxes I will most likely have eye cream for the rest of my life and then some so um, this is another one and let's see what the texture is like so it is just like a white cream the texture is actually very nice um, it's very very smooth it leaves my skin feeling really soft so I'm sure it'll feel really nice on the eye area um, and like I said it's an $85 eye cream so I'm excited to give it a try I'm not excited to get another eye cream because like I said I have a lot but um, I am excited to try it It seems like it'll be a nice product I think I've heard pretty good things about it too um, and the final product I have in here is from Catherine Malandrino and I believe this is a perfume. It says CM Style de Paris. Um, and let's see what it looks like. It's probably just like a travel size. Yeah, it's a little spray. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the packaging. It looks very cheap to me, to be honest. It's plastic. It's just, it's not really cute. The label is peeling off. It's just a sticker. I mean, but then again, it's what's inside that counts. So let's give it a sniff. Okay, it doesn't smell special. Like I said, it smells like a generic like perfume, but it's very like strong. It's kind of heavy on the floral side. I, I wouldn't consider it like a spring scent to me. It's, it's a little bit, like I said, heavy, um, but it's not a bad scent. It's just not... It's not my favorite and it's not anything special. So so that was it for my BoxyCharm for the month of March. Definitely my favorite products in here were the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I do like that they sent us two. They didn't have to, but they did. And I think that that's really cool. Let me know in the description box below what colors you got. I'm excited to know what like colors they ended up sending out. If you got a duochrome. I know a lot of people were like on their Instagram really wanted the duochrome. Um, but I ended up with two shimmers instead, which is not bad. I do really like um the finish of these so that's probably my favorite thing in here not super thrilled about the perfume but everything else I feel like I will use um, so moving on to beauty box 5 let's see what we have this month um, the first thing I have in here it says ain't nobody got time for that it's oh waiting for nails ain't nobody got time for that um, and this is from personnail.com and it's a $10 off coupon code um, and then the theme for this month is Make Room to Bloom. The card is actually quite pretty. I do like that, that floral pattern on there. So we do have our products listed on the back, and it looks like there's actually six things this month, which is really cool. So the first thing is a perfume sample, and I've never gotten a perfume sample quite in this type of packaging. It's like a plastic um, like card, if you will. And the perfume sample is on it, and I've never heard of this brand. It's called Color Me Fragrances. And this one is, it says long lasting perfume, six hours guaranteed. And the scent is, okay, I guess the scent is called Sky Blue Fragrance. It says flowers blossom in the spring, so why not smell like one? Spritz on the feminine fragrance to smell like jasmine enhanced by a peppery freesia base. So let's give it a sniff again. It's a very, very teeny tiny vial sample. I'm never really excited to get perfume samples unless it's like an extra thing, but I guess since, um, we did get six products this month it's not too bad yeah i don't really like it again it's very strong and very heavy on the floral i normally like the scent of jasmine but i i'm not even picking up jasmine it smells like something completely different maybe it is that freesia but i feel like i've smelled freesia before and it doesn't smell like this but yeah it's very very strong very floral i probably will not wear it i feel like it's going to give me a headache it's that strong so not that great of a start. Um, the next thing I have in here is from Personnel. So that little card that we got the $10 coupon for. Um, these are nail polish strips, which are exciting. I do love trying out nail polish strips. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, this one is Charmingly Cute. I don't know if that's the style name, but it says Charmingly Cute on it. And it looks like you could have gotten assorted prints. So let me know down in the comments below what print you got if you got a Beauty Box 5 this month. Again, I think mine's called Charmingly Cute. I could be wrong, maybe the name will be on the inside, but it says zero drying time, zero nail polish, smell, lasts up to 10 days, professional finish, fits all nails, and it includes 16 nail polish strips, cuticle stick, and a mini file. So let's see what design I got. The packaging is quite cute, and when you open it up, it looks like this, 
and you have your little um, mini nail file and your cuticle stick and then these are the nail strips and this one's actually a really pretty pattern um, this is kind of like a watercolor floral it's super pretty um, I like that they are all a little bit different so you can actually use them as accent nails if you don't want to use them all on your hands at the same time um, and I do love trying out new nail polish strips like I said I think they're really fun to put on and they do last a quite quite a long time in my opinion so I'm actually happy about that and that retails for $12.99 like I said so that that pays for the box in itself because the box is $12 a month um, the next thing in here is a tattoo like a temporary tattoo um, and this is a beauty box Fab custom temporary tattoo this supposedly retails for two dollars um, and this is the bonus item um, so I'm not super excited about that because like I said we did get that really tiny perfume sample and I didn't really like it and getting a temporary tattoo I don't think really makes up for that but that's okay I also have in here from glamour dolls it is a little eyeshadow in the color your highness and it is sealed so let's open this up and see what the actual color is. Oh, it's an eyeshadow duo. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be like a solid, like one shadow. And for some reason, the color is Your Highness. In my mind, I thought that was going to be like a light purple, like a lilac color for some reason. So this tr totally threw me off. It's a matte brown and this shimmery, shimmery, like light green color. And I believe this is full size and this retails for $3.99. Again, you could have gotten this in assorted colors. So again, I would love to know what color combination you got. But I guess the green is a nice like springy color and then you can always use a matte brown and it is quite pigmented actually and the texture is actually really nice I'm actually surprised because I saw the price point and it was $3.99 I was thinking oh maybe this isn't going to be very good but they're actually quite pigmented and the texture is actually really nice so there's that dark matte brown color and that shimmery like light green color okay the next thing I have in here is a little sample of of course eye cream and I actually I think I have the full size of this this is from pure lease this is the blue lotus four-in-one eye serum so I'll probably either use this to like travel because it is quite small but I believe I do have the full size of this I'm pretty sure and this is the final thing in the box and this is from my couture and I've actually gotten a couple my couture products in previous ipsies like when they first started out um, my couture was one of the first products that they sampled through ipsy so I have the salicylic acid oil blotting sheets as well as like the highlighter sheets I think um, and these are their blush papers so let's open this up I don't think these are full size I think these are probably just a few sheets of each but we did get two different colors which is nice um, this is the sunset boulevard shade which is a nice kind of like peachy coral and this is a nice kind of bright pink color and this one is called pretty full it's kind of a bummer because there's actually only two sheets in here which is kind of sad I feel like it would have been nice to get a few more in here I know it's just a sample but like still like two sheets of each color um, but this is the pretty full shade and you can see um, where I've touched it you can see a little bit of the product has already like started coming off so what you can do is actually take this sheet and just like apply it to your cheeks um, let me just swatch it really quick here so you guys can see what the color looks like so I just swatched it in this little section here it's a shimmery kind of pink blush so it's not like a whole lot of pigment it's almost kind of like a highlighter in my opinion um, it's very shimmery so you probably don't need a lot so um, you could take a brush to this and like apply it that way but ideally I believe you're supposed to just take the sheet and just kind of like rub it on your cheeks like so let's see if it transfers any a little bit a little bit's coming off I don't know if you can tell I can't really tell either but that is that that's a little bit of a disappointment I feel like three of the products um, in this month's box these papers the perfume sample as well as the temporary tattoo I feel like those shouldn't really be considered like deluxe samples I mean I'm a little bit disappointed just because I feel like they're kind of like samples you get for free somewhere else so yeah so we're only left with like three actual like samples and they weren't all that great in my opinion um, I mean the nail wraps do pay for the box um, so that's a good thing but I think that this is definitely not my favorite box I feel like 
like Beauty Box 5 has definitely gotten better the past few months. I've actually been really excited about some of the products that they featured in there. Um, even found like new favorites, but this month was a little bit of a letdown. So hopefully next month will be a little bit better. So that's it for my March Beauty Box 5 and BoxyCharm. I've definitely gotten better boxes in the past from both of these companies. So not my favorites, but I am excited about a couple of things um, in each of the boxes. So I look forward to using that. I think my favorite thing um, from both of these is from Makeup Geek, those two eyeshadows. So I'm really, really happy about that. I would love to know if you guys got your BoxyCharm or Beauty Box 5 this month and what color eyeshadows you got and what color or pattern nail wraps you got. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I also just received the new Spring Beauty Con box that was curated by Graveyard Girl. So I'm really excited about that. Probably be doing an unboxing very soon, so look out for that. Um, there'll probably be a couple of unboxings coming up in the next couple of weeks because I know my Walmart beauty box just shipped and I am also expecting my FabFitFun for spring as well. Um, so for those of you who love watching unboxings, you have a few to look forward to. And for those of you who don't, I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!